What appears to be living, breathing rocks off the coast of Chile in Peru have left beachgoers astounded. When cut open, what they found was even more disturbing. Mysterious remains. A living rock. Off the coast of Chile and Peru are dozens of sack-like organisms that look so bizarre they could easily be from out of this world. Pura chiliensis, they're called, also known as sea squirts. And once cut open, the creature is a rare sight to behold, as this immobile invertebrate filter feeder attaches itself to a sturdy object and stays there for life. Under their rocky exterior is a pulsating mass of crimson-coloured organs surrounded by a thin layer of skin and muscle. Despite the red fleshy intestines, the blood of Pura chiliensis runs clear, yet they practically bleed vanadium, that is, an elusive mineral so toxic it's also found in crude oil. Despite the extremely high level of toxins, Puria chiliensis is still a popular delicacy among the locals. Despite commonly spotted in large clusters along the coast, Puria chiliensis breeds by itself. Beginning life as a male, the rock creature becomes hermaphroditic upon puberty. Once female organs have been formed, the reproduction process is left up to which method is best under current circumstances. The first option, to repopulate through the release of clouds of eggs and sperm, and having faith, the two will collide. Plan B, pick a mate. If not alone, Pura chiliensis will opt for the planned partner method, as this increases the offspring's chance of success. We find the sea salt diet of Pura chiliensis fascinating, but how can this creature contain such high levels of vanadium, the same rare and mysterious metal used to make steel alloys? The quantities of the toxic element are so high in Pura chiliensis that according to Scientific American magazine, the concentration of vanadium produced by the Pura is around 10 million times that amount found in the surrounding seawater. The researchers are unsure of the function the element has in these creatures. Could it all be part of their will to survive? After all, Pura chiliensis is highly preyed upon by other sea creatures. Yet in recent years, the invertebrates have acquired advances to make them less prey and more predator. One such mutation is the hard exterior of Pura chiliensis, closely resembling the texture of a rock. This not only deters enemies, but can draw in innocent floaters, unaware of the animal's presence. Scientists assume that the change began occurring several years prior, as the population of Pura flourished as they began camouflaging with their surroundings. Since some predators can see past the foil of its hard exterior, however, Pura chiliensis may be acquiring a new defense mechanism. Based on the severe level of vanadium in its blood, the toxic concentrate and powerful iodine sensation can easily sway hungry opponents. Thus, the element within the fascinating filter feeder could be a definite deterrent for ocean predators, and maybe soon for human taste buds as well. There are obvious concerns raised over eating the creature, and while locals swoon over the delicacies, non-locals aren't so sure about live rocks with living guts. The taste has been called everything from soapy to having a weird iodine flavour. Mmm, yum. Would you give this mysterious creature a taste? Let us know in the comments section, and be sure to subscribe to what lurks below for more marine mysteries of the deep.